In this movie, we're going to start to create a basic report using Crystal Reports 11. If you haven't already, go ahead and launch Crystal Reports. On the Start Page tab, you can either click on the Standard Report Wizard link or click on the New Report icon located in the top left-hand corner of your screen. After clicking on either of those, you should get the Standard Report Creation Wizard window. The very first step when creating a report using the wizard is choosing the data you want to report on. What this means is you're going to tell Crystal which database or data source you're going to connect to. In the previous lessons, we've shown you two methods of connecting to the data. In this case, I'm going to leave it up to you. You can either ODBC Connect or Direct Connect. For my purposes, I'm going to ODBC Connect. I click on the ODBC icon and it pops up the ODBC drivers I've already pre-set up and installed on my machine. In this case I'm going to choose the Crystal XI training and hit next. I get in this case as we've discussed before the test database we're using doesn't require a user ID or password. As we can see I have all my tables available for me here. Now this is the part where we have to choose the tables that we're going to use. For now, I'm going to choose the employee table. Go ahead and hit next. This next window is where after choosing the tables, you choose the exact fields you want to see. I can either choose them one at a time by highlighting them and clicking on the right hand arrow. I can physically drag them over or I can double click them until they appear on the fields to display window. I can also remove them the same way. If I want to choose all fields, I simply hit the double arrow to the right. And if I wish to remove all fields, I hit the double arrow to the left. In this case, let's go ahead and choose all fields. There's also some functions we have here where we can browse the data by highlighting a field and clicking Browse Data button. In this case, we're looking at the Employee ID field, and this pops up a window giving me a list of all the values in those fields. So if I click on First Name, and I click Browse Data, it gives me all of the names in those fields. A word of caution, if your database contains millions or hundreds of thousands of records, this might take a while for Crystal to pull back. A lot of that, of course, will depend on your PC, the speed of your network connection, and the ability of your database server to process this request. You can also find a field. If you have a large table with thousands of fields, which is within the realm of possibility, you can actually type in what you're looking for, hit enter, and it will find and highlight it for you. Of course, your search string must be fairly on in order for it to return a result set. This is a useful feature if you're going to, of course, be working with tables with many, many fields that won't fit on the screen. In this case, the test database is a simple compilation of data and not too complex. 